I refuse to allow America to become a place where gay people, Christian people, Jewish people are targets of persecution and intimidation by radical Islamic preachers of hate and violence. This is not just a national security issue. It's a quality of life issue. If we want to protect the quality of life for all Americans, women and children, gay and straight, Jews and Christians, and all people, then we need to tell the truth about radical Islam, and we need to do it now. Guns don't kill people. Bad people do. Likewise, religions don't kill people. Bad people do. Blaming religion does not restore trust in the society. It does not bring justice. It does not change a thing. Blaming the individual does. So, there were 355 mass murders in our country last year. And one of them happened to be Muslim. And that was wrong. That is not even acceptable. But don't blame religion for the wrongdoing of the bad guys. It is time to think seriously. How can we build a safe America where every American can live safely and not pit one against the other? Mr. Trump, I appeal to you. I want to support you. If you believe in one America, if you believe we are all one nation under God, if you believe your responsibility as president is to put America together, bring people together, educate people, learn to accept each other as who we are. That is the role of the president, not pitting one against the other. This is a very sad situation, what happened in Orlando. Extend your sympathies to people, the victims, families. It is time for us to come together, not take advantage of the situation. I want to assure gay and lesbian friends that Muslims are with you. I am with you. I stand up with you. And I'm there to protect your life. That's my duty. And that's what Muslims do. A few of among us are bad. They're bad among all of us. But let's not blame religion. Let's blame the individual. God bless America. God bless the victims and their families.